played, Dan. Uh, you've scored uh, a few important goals for Shrewsbury in your time. There's another one, the goal that has helped ensure that Shrewsbury will stay a, a League One club. How, what are your thoughts at this moment in time? I'm just delighted because the I said it on the podcast that I'd done a few months ago that the aim was to stay up and we've done it. And it's not just about my goal. <clears throat> it's everyone as a collective. There's been other goals from uh, shippers, skip, Everyone's shipped in this year. It's been a tough year, but we've got across the line, and that's what's important. Nice to do it with a game to spare as well, <coughs> I'm sure. Yeah, of course, because you don't want to go to the last game, and you. I've seen things where Man City won the league and United lost it right at the end. Because I'm a United fan, I was gutted with that. Obviously, that's different. You're winning stuff, but as a footballer, no one wants the relegation on their CV and just buzzing for the club because at the end of the day I'm a Shrewsbury fan myself and I want the club to be playing as high as possible so yeah You've been here a long time now haven't you? Yeah and like that's why it's so important to me important to my family it's a club that's given me the chance to be an established League One player so of course I want the club to do well And there were special scenes at the end uh, yeah. you set the players and the management team the coaching staff and the supporters as well lots of them here today making the trip to London Yeah it's like there's they're the best thing about the club, the fans. Without the fans, where would the club be? So it's important that like, us as players, we see them when um, they come so far. I don't know how much it costs to get on the train and drive here to come to South London and support your team. And it's just right for us, the players, to make sure we do our best. And I'm sure every player tries to do their best. I know there's times where sometimes it looks like we're not giving our best, but I'm telling you now, no player goes out on the pitch to have a bad game or not run around it's just confidence lack of confidence and stuff in football so just buzzing and delighted we could give the fans something to go happy with what about the performance today what are your thoughts when you reflect back on the on the 90 minutes it's a tough ground to come to uh, they've got the top goal scorer in the league we kept the boys at the back kept him quiet we were a bit gutted about the goal that they scored because the manager and doggy um said to us about like making sure we start the second half fast because they're going to come out knowing their manager is going to give them a bit of a rollicking and um, we just needed to start fast and it was it, it was a deep run that we could have seen but listen at the end of the day we've come here to get um, safety and we've got safety and your goal happy with that takes you on to uh, 11 yeah, for the season always, as well always buzzing you know, like um the thing is with football, there's always expectations. So when I uh, got injured and done my knee, my expectation straight away from the start of the season was to hit the ground running as fast as possible. But then you play a few games and you realise, you know, it's took, it's like took a knock down from like where I expect myself to be. But like I set myself a target of getting playing 30 games and scoring 10 goals. I've gone over the 10 goals, but now I'm on nine in the league, so I need another goal. So we've got one more game. And what's it been like these last few months uh, playing under under Paul Hurst and Chris Doig? Um, it's been brilliant. It's been brilliant. They've been really good. It's like I've said it before. It's helped me because I've got um, people now closer to me up the pitch, getting more chances. Before I was averaging a shot a game, if if that, a shot every two games, something like that. And um, um, we get all the stats. You know, the stats crazy in football now, which. I'm not a fan, but listen, everyone's got their own thing, and um, I, I was, I'm averaging like three shots a half, so obviously I need to score more goals, but I take it a goal a game so far. <laughs> Any indication, Dan, what the future might hold for you? I understand your contract will be up at, at the end of, of the season. Anything happening in terms of, of, of staying here, or anything you can tell us? Listen, at the end of the day, like I said, I'm a Shrewsbury fan, and um, it's down to the club now I've left it all in their hands I'm just doing my best to make sure the club stay up and we've done that we've still got one more game like I said I want one more goal possibly two and um, see where the future takes me and go from there very well well done today well done over the season and well done on on helping uh, secure League One safety thanks for your time Dan. thank you Donny